Hello, everyone. I bought absolutely all of the existing types of kinders around the world. There are both familiar ones and incredibly rare specimens here that you haven't even heard of. Today, we will try each of them and determine the most delicious of the existing kinders. Let's start with the classic, the Kinder Surprise. I think that almost everyone on the planet has tried this. Let's open it up. Inside, we are greeted by an egg consisting of milk and white chocolate. And there was a capsule inside. Let's try it. Okay, this chocolate is just incredibly delicious. 10 out of 10. And let's see what kind of toy we got. Mm, yeah, the toys in the new Kinders are honestly a disappointment. So the next one we have is the Kinder Cornetti. These are croissants made by Kinder specifically for the French market. There are six croissants inside the package. We open it up. And it looks pretty good. We need to try it. This is one of the most delicious factory croissants I've ever eaten. It is moist, soft, and with a very tasty peach apricot filling. I'm gonna give this nine out of 10. There was also a chocolate version of the croissants. I think they'll probably be even tastier. We take it out and try it. Yes, this is perfect. The chocolate filling is way tastier. 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the Kinder Joy. It's super popular, and I think that many of you have probably tried it. We divide the egg into halves. There was also a spoon inside, as well as a toy, in which one of the halves is a plastic egg. We're left with like a figurine that is put on a pencil. In general, the toy socks. Okay, after all, the most important thing is the edible part. Let's try it out. This is simply divine, 10 out of 10. Here we have crispy balls, white and chocolate cream. As a child, I just couldn't imagine anything tastier. So the Kinder Chocolate Ice Cream. I've never tried this before. So let's unpack it and check it out. Again, this mega delicious chocolate outside, although there was a very ordinary ice cream in the inside. Seven out of 10. Now for the original Kinder Chocolate. I honestly think that everyone knows these lovable chocolates. One should definitely be tried. It's still the same chocolate, only the ratio of white to milk is slightly higher. 10 out of 10. Next, we have a Kinder Plum Cake made specifically for the Greek market. This is the first time I've ever seen such a product. Let's unpack it. And there were six beautiful oblong cupcakes inside. So let's try them. It is very moist and soft at the same time. Very tasty, nine out of 10. And also it is flavored with vanilla and if slightly soaked in syrup. They also produce a cocoa version of such a plum cake. And I think that it should be awesome as well. Let's try it. Surprisingly, this is much worse than the last one. It's dry and crumbly. Five out of 10. The Kinder Milk Slice is also one of the legendary products that is known all over the world. Let's unpack it. And try it. To be honest, I've always disliked this because of the chemical cream. Six out of 10. Let's move on to the Kinder Chunky. You definitely will never find a Kinder like this on the store shelves because it is very rare and exclusive. Let's unpack it. Inside, five more sticks are awaiting us in their packages. We will open them up as well. Outside, there's a waffle layer with a wood texture. Let's try it. It's crispy and honestly quite tasty. Eight out of 10. The Kinder tray it consists of a waffle layer on the outside, a little bit of chocolate cream, and a basic white cream. The next one is the famous Kinder Bueno. This looks really good. Let's try it. Yeah, this is perfect, 10 out of 10. It consists of a layer of chocolate, a waffle layer, and a nut cream. Also, there is a white version of the Kinder Bueno. 
and it looks completely different. The outside is white chocolate and crispy sprinkles. I had never tasted it before, but it turned out to be even tastier than the original version. Okay, this is a 10 plus. Next, we have again a super rare Kinder Shirelle Biscotti made for the Italian market. It translates as a grain cookie. Specifically, it tastes like hazelnuts. Let's unpack it. Here we have two double cookies. Let's break them up and try it. I was waiting for a taste of like oatmeal cookies, but it doesn't even taste like that at all. Honestly, it's pretty edible, but nothing special. Five out of 10. And yet these cookies are available in a cocoa version. Let's open them up. I'm hoping that these will taste better. No, the taste is about the same. Five out of 10. The next one is the Kinder Country. A lot of people know this. On the outside, it looks like a mini chocolate bar, but on the inside, it has a white substance and little balls. Many people like it, but I'm not a fan of this Kinder at all. Five out of 10. Next, we have Kinder Brioche. I've never eaten something like this, but I'm gonna start now. On the inside, we're greeted with biscuit bricks. Let's open them up. It's got milk on the package, so we're gonna try it with some milk. Yeah, this is a pretty good biscuit. But without the packaging, I would have never have said that this is a Kinder. Six out of 10. Another version of Kinder Brios with latte and cocoa flavor. On the inside, it's exactly the same biscuit, only a slightly different pattern. Let's try it. Yeah, this one is tastier. Seven out of 10. This chocolate cream adds directly to the taste. The Kinder Delice is a medium popular product. It can often be found even on the counter of the simplest stores. Let's open it up. And on the inside is a beautiful dessert waiting for us. Okay, yeah, that is real good. I'm gonna give you an eight out of 10 for the taste. And for the layers here, we have some chocolate, chocolate ganache, cocoa sponge cake, and white cream. The Kinder Delice with coconut flavor is considered rarer. To be honest, I've never tried one. Let's open it up. The view from the outside is like an ordinary Kinder Delice, and it's just that it has a very powerful smell of coconut. Let's try it. Mmm. -hmm. I liked this version even more, just the mega natural taste of coconut. Nine out of 10. Kinder Happy Hippo. I've heard a lot about this, but I've never really tried it. Let's open one up. Inside, we are greeted by the funniest looking dessert in the form of a hippopotamus. Let's try it. I didn't even expect for it to have such a delicious filling on the inside. This is honestly wow, 10 out of 10. On the outside, it consists of a waffle layer and white crispy sprinkles, and on the inside, the first half of the filling is nutty and the second is creamy. And Kinder would obviously not be Kinder if it didn't have the chocolate version of the Happy Hippo. So let's see how it differs. Okay, so the crispy sprinkles on the outside are not white, but brown. Now for the taste. It is radically different, and I like it less, because the filling here is cocoa and without the nutty taste. Seven out of 10. The Kinder Pinguif is one of the most advertised Kinders on television in history. Let's try it out. Tastes really good, only one thing spoils it. This is that the only Kinder that uses not milk, but dark chocolate. There are also cocoa biscuits, white cream, and chocolate ganache. Next, we have a Kinder that I have never really seen before today, a Choco Fresh. Let's open it up. On the inside, we see two candies connected to each other. We're gonna try it. Listen, this is one of the best rare Kinders of today. 10 out of 10. There is milk chocolate, a delicate white cream, and most importantly, nutty caramel. Kinder Maxi King. If you watch all of my videos, then you already know that this is my favorite Kinder. So let's open it up. There are a lot of nuts and milk chocolate on the outside, and it tastes just divine. Since this is the nuttiest Kinder of all, it contains nuts, chocolate, a waffle layer, white cream, and nut caramel. The Kinder Duo, seen in stores, but never bought. Let's see what it is.
it looks like some kind of weird chocolate domino. But on the other hand, which has a cookie with the inscription Kinder. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, this is just cookies with chocolate. Seven out of 10. Kinder Choco Bones. We have a whole pack here and we open it up. We got a lot of chocolates inside. Let's open them up. The candy looks like a small chocolate egg. Let's try it. Oh, this is great. That's the signature taste of chocolate from Kinder. And it consists of white chocolate, milk chocolate, and a little cereal bumps. 10 out of 10. Next in line is the Kinder Penny Chuck. This is the same little biscuit, but with a checkerboard coloring. Or let's try it. And don't forget about the milk. This is exactly the same as the last biscuit, one and the same. It is also a seven out of 10. Kinder Cards. So there are three packs in one package. Let's open it up. And there are two cards in each pack. A brown waffle on one side and a light one on the other. Let's try it. It is delicious and really crispy. In addition to the waffles, there are two creams in size, creamy and chocolate, seven out of 10. Another Italian biscuit is the Kinder Cancelloni Pio. Time for taste test. All right, this is the most tasteless Kinder Biscuit of all. The cream is just disgusting. Three out of 10. And the last rare product is Kinder Bueno ice cream. Let's open it up. There's a cute little cone inside. And the taste? Just like Kinder Bueno, only cool. Also a 10 out of 10. So, the best Kinders of all existing ones are the Kinder Surprise, Kinder Joy, Kinder Chocolate, Kinder Happy Hippo, Kinder Chocolate Croissant, Kinder Choco Bones, Kinder Choco Fresh, Kinder Bueno, and Kinder Maxi King. The last one, according to my version, is the most delicious Kinder of all. Write in the comments which giant Kinder you would like me to cook next. The Happy Hippo, the Kinder Tronky, the Kinder Cards, or the Kinder Pinguine. And also be sure to like and subscribe so that you guys don't miss our next video. Bye, everybody.